Hey guys, I hope you're good. This is Max from MHS Prod and today I will show you how to create a really nice dissolve effect inside the Cinema 4D R20. Let's see the effect of today. It's really really cool looking and without any plugin. I love it. Just before starting this tutorial, I invite you to join our Facebook group called Motion Designers Community. You will be able to share your work talk with people and maybe meet people or collaborators. And if you are in London in the next uh, January, you can join us in Real at our MDC meetup. We make physical events, so feel free to check on our website the event to know everything about the upcoming events. Feel free also to check tutorial, contests, shops or even news to get every news related to the community and the new tutorial it's really easy to follow what we do on the website and if you like what we do of course you can follow us on instagram images pro now let's start real thing let's create a new scene and i will try to make my best because i'm from paris and i have a french accent so i can make some english mistake Let's take our cube and the, the new object volume builder and volume measure. Let's add our cube inside the volume builder and let's add our volume builder inside the volume measure. I will go in my volume builder and I will change the volume type into fog. Why I'm doing this? I will show you why. Because when you are in um, sign distance field you only have three uh, simple boolean operation but when you switch to fog you will have so much more uh, blending mode to play with and today we will make our effects with this blending mode so let's switch to fog let's keep only one cube and let's go in create and we, and we will create a random field the random field will allow us to create um, a mesh like this. Really nice. Let's go in random field and we will use a noise. So let's go in random mode, noise. And I will be able to select any Cinema 4D noise. Noise type, select Poxo. From my experience, it's one of the best to make the effect we want to achieve today. But Feel free to play with any kind of noise. You will probably uh, find a good thing. Let's change the scale and let's find this big value. Note that you can also change the field and move it to have different pattern of noise. I will now add the field, linear field. Now let's go in volume builder and drag and drop the linear field. You will see I'm able to create and generate volume. But the effect is not there. I want to use the blending mode to get a blend between our cube and our random field. So let's go in our cube, uh, in our volume builder and let's change the random field into min. And now our linear field will add. So when I will move my linear field, I will create this really nice effect. If I want something with more details, I will go to volume builder. I can change here the size. So let's, for example, set five. You see I have more details. If I set three or one, I will have something with a lot of details but it will be slower one last thing is you see this mess right there I want to avoid this uh, effect so let's go in volume measure click there and tick this little box and right now I have a threshold let's move till I do not have anything so 0 0.7 should be okay in my case but it can be different for you. 
And right now, I'm able to do this effect. The really nice thing is that I can achieve this effect with any kind of object. It's amazing, it's procedural. I can change the size, I can change the, the type of noise and I can create this really nice and complex dissolve effect without any plugins and it's really really amazing you see the effect is pretty good and you can bake this right click and click to bake as alambic then you can import it in any of your software or an older version of cinema 4d for example i've imported it in my r18 and make some cool textures and animation right there so if you want to only keep this effect you can bake it and import it i hope you guys enjoy this uh, really short video tutorial i hope you will create really amazing effect feel free to post it in the group and uh, of course if it's elaborated try it on uh, some human face Try it in crazy ways and thank you for watching this video feel free to subscribe to the channel and of course leave a thumbs up see you next time